Hey guys, Total Legion, and welcome back to another Napoleon online battle. This time I'm playing with Elite on my side and also Tip. Uh, both these guys are from JCP Randoms Films. Again, I'll link them in the description. Uh, if you weren't there in the video yesterday, I did say that I have a lot of uh, gameplay videos with these guys. So do expect quite a few coming up these next couple of days. I think I've got three more I can upload. So yeah, we'll go over our comps here. So my buddy over here, Elite, he's playing as the Netherlands, I'll be playing as the Spanish today, and Tip will be playing as the Austrians, uh, so we'll go over my, my army real quick, uh, once I've decided to actually sort them out into lines, there we go. So we have some of these Teodores, and some of these Cazadores, we have three of these, uh, let's see what else we got here, uh, we got some inventory, we have a lot, oh it's Portugal, why did I say Spain, wow. Wow, it's been a while since I've <laughs> since I played this game. Uh, it's obviously, wow, yeah, Portugal, jeez. Yeah, got a lot of the line inventory, which is kind of just the basic inventory you can get with Portugal. It's kind of the same as Netherlands, you can't really get too much uh, variety. I've also got some Portuguese cavalry, which will be used in more of a kind of cannon fodder type thing more than anything. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see what Tip has. Tip has, I think... Four of these Grenzers? Yes, yeah, four of these Grenzers. Uh, he's got some German Fusiliers, he's got four in total. He then has two of these Hungarian Fusiliers, and some 47th Czech Regiment, and some 1st Regiment of Emperor's Own. Uh, he's also got some Landwehr as well, and what's he got over here? He's got some awesome oh, more Hungarian Fusiliers, and he's got some Ulans, and Ulans and Ulans. Is that. What's that? The Archduke Charles Legion. Ooh. Let's see who his general is. Uh, he's brought Joseph Alvinsky, same as uh, what Elite brought last time I played against him. Uh, where's my general? I can't remember what general I brought. Uh, Luis D. Oh, I can't say his name. Where is he? There he is. Luis Du Rego Abarito. <laughs> oh my god. Crazy. I don't know why I rolled my R then, but. I did. So let's have a look at Elite. Uh, he's got some Dutch Flanguiers, same as I brought. Uh, got some line inventory again, not much variety with Netherlands. He's got some more line inventory, it's just kind of basically line inventory all the way around. And then he's got a load of facades. He, got, he brought a bunch of cav. Let's look at uh, his opponent, who also brought a bunch of cav. He's got some of these mounted uh, cedar rifles here. Got a lot of those. And his general is just General's bodyguard. And of course, with Ottomans, they have the Cedar Infantry. And some of the Light Infantry. And he's also got some Bazookas. Bazooks. Alright, let's have a look at the Prussians. He's got some Lancers, got some Hussars, some Crossiers. Oh, some Grenadiers as well. He's also deployed his stakes here. He's got some Jaegers. I imagine he has a load of those along here. Uh, he's also got some musketeers, quite a few of those, and some landwehr also, which is cool. He's got some foot guards, some musketeers again, and Count von Genesseri, or whatever his name is, I cannot pronounce it. <laughs> he's got him, and he's got some more hussars and some more lancers. He's got France, they have a lot of these chasseurs a cheval. He's got three of those, and again, three on the other side here. He's also deployed some stakes. Uh, he's got a bunch of his Volta Gears. Oh, he's got some of the Sick Regiment. Nice. And also some Volt Gears and uh, Chassis. And a bunch of Young Guard, Old Guard, Fuselers. Kind of a mixture of everything, really. Okay, so we're just kind of spreading out our lines a bit here. I, now, my my opponent, who's Prussia, obviously, in this one, kind of held back a little bit. Um, which did allow me to push up the middle more aggressively than I would have been able to do if he did come forward. And it also allowed me to focus a bit more on France. I'm not sure what he was doing. He was kind of just holding back and it didn't really, well, you'll see it didn't really work too well. But uh, yeah, our opponents over here, they're forming a huge line of cav. We'll just see what happens there. But look at this, early on. Oh my God. Look at that, that's crazy. Crazy amount of light inventory there. He had a very good charge into that though. Got rid of uh, quite a few. Well, at least on one of the units he did. And now they're just exchanging fire. Oh, they're in the range of the line imagery, that's not good. And here comes the cav charge. Oh, no, they stopped. <laughs> I thought they would have gone for a uh, charge there. Just look, look at the the chaos that is ensuing here. Look, they're all bunched up together. That isn't good at all. They're just going to get slaughtered. Look at that. I think he lost some cav there, yeah. 
coming for another cav charge. Here he comes. Let's take a look at this. Let's see if we can get a, a view of it from here. Here come the hussars. There we go. Oh my god, that guy went flying. That's the uh, line of G doing very well over here. Looks like he's coming in for a uh, some of these bashy. Oh no, here comes the cap charge. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> There's always that one guy who goes flying. So chaos is ensuing over here. Not much is going on over here. We're just kind of exchanging light fire. There was a cap charge over here, it appears. But uh, my ally seems to be clearing that up all right. Again, I'm just kind of moving my troops up one by one. Just kind of seeing what my opponent is going to do. Because Prussia, they, they really did hold, hold, uh, hold back a lot. Which, uh, which did allow me to assist my allies a lot more than I would have been able to do, like I said. So these guys are in range now. My Triadores. Tiradores, I don't know. I got that absolute chaos. Absolute. Oh my god, it's crazy. So the Ottomans pretty much wasted half of their army there in that stupid little tactic they did. And here comes the Prussians with their hussars. They're going to come over and attempt to uh, hit into my lights. And unfortunately, my Portuguese camp did get stuck on my uh, my lights. But they, they kind of broke through a little bit, so... But like I said, my, my Portuguese Cav, they're not really there to do much damage. They're, they're more there to kind of be cannon fodder more than anything. So I do manage to get into square there. Still exchanging fire. Here comes a, a Cav charge on the left flank. Oh, we got into square. Boom. On Thursday, there should be a 59th line battle being uploaded. Because um, that's when we actually are doing our event. I'll just I'll just edit the rounds a bit and then I'll upload it. And no uploads on Saturday or Friday, unfortunately. Because I'm actually away for those couple of days. But I'm going to try and get some videos recorded and maybe schedule to upload them then. Because I do have a bunch, like I said. So we held off the uh, the, the oh, Prussian calf somewhat. They're still holding strong here, but his uh, his mounted rifles are really annoying. Look how many upgrades they put on him. Really, really sweaty tactic, but um, it didn't really play out too well for him, like I say, because the Netherlands have pretty much destroyed them. Uh, <laughs> Lol. Just look at them. So much death already just in this middle. Netherlands guys are doing well over there. Look how small this gap square is. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the uh, Austrians over here. Yeah, see, it's just kind of light. I don't really want to focus over on this side when it's just kind of lights flying back and forth because that's kind of boring. As you can see. It's just that. Right now, I've pushed up the middle a lot more, which has forced them to go on kind of a slant here. As you see, look, they've gone slant and then straight. And if my Netherlands ally here, who is uh, elite, if elite can break through over here, which he will do, he's pretty much routed all the uh, the Ottomans units. When he does, what he will do is he'll come around here and we'll kind of box him in, in like an L kind of thing. Because they can't go any further to the right because that's the edge of the map there. 
and it will kind of force them into this last kind of section of the map here. Okay, so my boys are finally getting some action. Ignore those bells, by the way. I'm currently playing naval action as well in the background. I got that loaded up, so that bell was the uh, one of my ships. <laughs> oh, here comes a, a cav charge, maybe? Oh, no, it's my cav. Oh, yeah, Zotman's kind of broke through a little bit. His mounted, mounted cav, but that's not not too much to worry about. Look at that, we're just shredding into these Voltigers. So Prussia's kind of extended their lines a little bit, um, but again, my Netherlands ally over here, he's he's forming round like we just said, look, we're forming that L, and we're going to slowly push them into that last section. Should have probably took these guys out of a uh, square now, think about it. Oh, look, he sent some cab over, he sent some hussars. Pretty cool charge. Again, still exchanging light fire. I think there was a cav charge over here a second ago. See on the map, look, we're slowly forming that L I'm on about. Just there. Not really much I can do though, because I don't really want to commit all of my guys up this middle because he steals a bunch of cav and he'll probably just cav charge me and I'll be me out of the game. So I'm just playing the patience game. I don't see too much too much action in this really apart from just picking off a couple of guys in my skirms. Um which is a bit disappointing but it, it worked out well for the team. It worked out well. I kind of held the middle ground more than anything and those guys, those guys did the uh, the fighting on the flanks. So now you also see we're slowly breaking on his left flank here. We're slowly breaking through, which will mean that we're going to be on both sides of him. Like one line here, a line here, and a line in the middle, which would be me and uh, Austria here. And look, look at this. Look how many flank whiz there are. And they're just going to mow these guys down. I've pushed up with some of my inventory. Not doing particularly well. Look at that. Well, that was a good volley. Jeez. Rip his uh, his lights. Okay, so look. That's, see what I'm just saying? With, he's pushed up a bit more now with that left flank. We're slowly kind of semi-circling around them. And hopefully get them stuck in this area over here. Oh, here comes a cap charge. Oh, and they got stuck. <laughs> Boom. Not good for me. I should have, uh, I should have seen that coming. He's gonna try and run his cab down along my, my lights, but again, it doesn't really matter too much, to be honest, because we've already outflanked him on many, many sides nearly. And so as soon as France breaks on that left, we've got them at all angles, so I don't really need my lights, I can just charge through. And look how many units I have in reserve too. Like, I haven't even committed these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys. And I have Our some cav. Running, <laughs> which I sent forward. Didn't expect too much from them though, because they're only Portuguese cav and you know how that is. See, look, there's the L shape. It's pretty much almost full now. Prussians moved this cav over out the way. Jesus, so were the grenades. Wow. I think that was my grenade. No, it was his grenadiers, wasn't it? Yeah. He was the one who had grenadiers. Damn, that was pretty cool. 
Yes, my Portuguese cab managed to route some of his lights, and now I'm going into his grenadiers. Which is pretty cool. Oh, there goes my boat again. Look at that. Look at, look at this. This is this is beautiful. Look at this line. It's amazing. Our men are running, sir. We've pretty much fully circled them almost. Most of their guys are routing. So Netherlands, he didn't take a single blow to most of his guys. Or at least not one that would affect him at all, really. So look, we've pretty much almost, like I say, nearly circled him. It's just really the couple of units left that's uh, the stragglers more than anything. And get rid of them, then we've uh, won the battle. It's pretty much Prussia now. Yeah, it's just Prussia, really. We've got some French. Some French, well, nice English. We've got some French units still, but they can get sorted out very easily. There goes the, uh, what are they, the young guard? There we go. I don't think France brought any old guard now, think about it. I know I think I said it earlier, but I don't think they did. Let's have a look at the brave. These guys are apparently the, the braves of the bravest. I'll put that to the test <laughs> with my line of victory. There he is, the Prince of Orange. We've seen him in the uh, the Pyramids battle the other day. He's decided to join us here on the the grassy flatlands. Look at these guys. This landwood must have been here for a long time now. Oh, and here comes the charge. I think I missed the uh, the melee charge of all of his light, un light units. Oh no, here they are. This is it, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, the, I, when we were watching this happen, it was literally just like a swarm of bees attacking like a, a, an animal or something. I don't know. What, whatever swarms of bees do. Look, look how many there is. <laughs> He's still got so many guys he hasn't really committed at all yet. Oh, my boys are getting a good couple of shots off here. Ooh, that was cool. There goes another unit. And that's pretty much just these last couple of guys. Where are the Brave? Have I already got rid of the Brave? No, there they are. Look, they're in Cav Square. Ooh. Swarm of flankways. Oh, some Prussian foot foot guards there. <laughs> Lol. All right, let's take a look at how the brave do against my infantry. Glorious victories, huh? Is so Attention, la cavalerie. Maintenez vos positions. So there we go. Pretty easy victory for us to be fair. I mean, the mistake of the Ottomans at the start pretty much secured the win for us. So it wasn't wasn't too hard to win. <laughs> Here comes the melee charge on the brave. And they're gone. <laughs> so much for the brave. Men are running, sir. Oh, who do we lose? Oh, we lost some of these guys, yeah. The enemy general has died. There he goes. Last couple of Prussians here holding holding their ground, taking a final stance. I, I thought I remembered having artillery in this battle, but it must have been another one. Uh, because I definitely remember playing on uh, Grassy Flatlands with artillery and pretty similar army comps to this. 
but it must have been a different uh, different battle. Yes, there we go. That is it, pretty much. He's, he's just retreating his couple, final couple units here. Look at them. The Netherlands still firing off their final shots. Really, really good battle. Really, really fun battle to play as well. Really, really fun. Uh, it's unfortunate that the uh, the opponent's ally over there on the left didn't do too well. He kind of just committed all of his guys at once and they just got shredded to pieces. They weren't in any sort of formation or any sort of strategic planning attack at all. Uh, they kind of just blobbed up together and got killed. <laughs> Here's the general. And there we go. That is, I think, the last unit. Yeah, there it is. So let's take a look at some of the uh, the stats but before we end the video. So we got um, Elite here, who deployed 1,728. Uh, we got me, who I, I deployed 100, sorry, 1,773. Uh, and then Tip deployed nearly 2,000, so 1,953. Uh, the Ottomans, they deployed 160. Sorry, 1,674. Uh, the Prussians deployed 1,533. And then France deployed 1,668. Uh, let's see who lost the most. France lost the most. And the Netherlands killed the most, which is definitely... Uh, definitely seems to match up to what we saw. So let's see our stats. So this infantry unit here got 138 kills, which isn't too bad. And we lost... Almost the whole unit there with um, with our inventory. Uh, so there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Also subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.